Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update on the essential holster, naked holster. Um, I got a comment in my previous video, uh, the one for my Taurus G2, and Brian, I appreciate the comment, uh, asked me some questions about whether it would work with the uh, LCD Max, and I said I didn't know. He ended up ordering one and trying it out and let me know that in fact it does work uh, although it is a bit tight a little tighter on the trigger guard than um, the other pistols um, so I thought 25 bucks might as well go ahead and now that I had confirmation from somebody that it actually worked um, I would go ahead and get one and it did and it showed up and I'm wearing it now um, it does work I'll show you couple of things that I discovered with it that don't really affect its operation, I don't think, um, but something to be aware of. So anyway, I am wearing it right now, and it is, as I thought, significantly smaller than the um, Taurus, of course, because it's a smaller pistol. No, it does print a little, if you, you can see it right there, just a little bit, um, but there it is. Uh, I am wearing different pants than I was that day, but they're similar, pretty thick. Pretty wide uh, waistband, again, uh, kind of how it works best. I did try this um, on a pair of thin jogging shorts, like just like kind of workout shorts, and it didn't work. Um, so bear in mind that the retention to the firearm on the trigger guard is definitely tighter than the one that came from my Taurus and you know they obviously they don't claim that it works so there must be some slight dimensional changes between the LCP2 and the LCP Max maybe the trigger is a little wider I don't know it does snap on it is quite tight uh, and that's the problem that the retention is tight enough that if the pants are thin enough and that little claw can't grip into the material when you draw the holster out the holster comes, when you draw the pistol out, the holster comes with it. Um, that only happened on my thinnest pair of shorts that are just like, you know, one layer. They're like breathable, really thin for like, if you're actually out exercising, but definitely bear that in mind. Um, I mean, even if that happened, you could still, you know, pull, push, use the thumb pusher and push the, uh, the holster off the pistol and then use it if you needed to. But bear that in mind. On thicker pants like these, and these aren't like super thick, but they're definitely like a double layer, a little thicker, a little wider. It seems to work fine. So anyway, I'll demonstrate. Pull it up. And it comes out. Okay. Um, now, it's going to take me a second to put this down. Give me a sec. By the way, that firearm is unloaded. Um problem is, and I'm going to go behind the camera so I can show you, the problem is that it is definitely like tighter. The The amount that it, it, effort that it takes to push it on the firearm is greater. The other thing that I noticed, and it, I, it doesn't do this with my Taurus, there is a very small amount of rotational motion like that. I don't know if you can see that. It rotates just a little. It does not move at all, really, any other any other way. So it, it's super solid on there. In fact, it's too solid on there, which is the problem, I think. Um, again, it works, but definitely check with the pants that you're wearing to make sure that it works adequately uh, and it doesn't cause you any problems. Um, again, it's not their fault. The holster, they, they tell you it doesn't work. Um, but, uh, Brian gave it a whirl and said it worked. And so I figured 25 bucks is worth trying. And it does seem to work 99% of the time. As long as you, what I mean by that is, is if you're wearing thicker pants, it works correctly all the time, but there's some cases where it might not work. Um, works the same way as the other one. You know, if you need to get it off there, you, you can press. See, it's really difficult to get off. That's the thing. It requires quite a bit of effort to pull it 
off of the pistol, okay? And that, I believe, is why with the thinner material, there isn't enough grip on the, on the, uh, the uh, little hooks there to stay on the fabric as you pull it out. Of course, you're using more force. You're not trying to pull against yourself. It's a little easier. Um, haven't had any trouble with these kind of pants, but like I said, on the other pants, um, if they're thinner, um, it didn't work. The holster came out with it. And, and you can see it does require a bit of effort to get the holster off. So that could be a problem. If you, put, if you would withdraw it and the holster would come with it, you might be stuck with the uh, disabled pistol. Um, so you would definitely want to try it multiple times with whatever given pair of shorts you wanted to use it with. Um, other than that, that's it. Other than that, it does work, but it, it works with those exceptions. Um, didn't have that problem with the one that was for my Taurus. I tried it on several different kinds of pants and it seemed to work okay. Um, maybe at some point they'll come out with a version that's specifically for the LCP Max. Um, but right now, it's, as, as, as of the last time I checked, it was not on their website yet. Um, so yeah, yes, it works, um, but it isn't perfect. Um, probably good enough though. And it still provides all the trigger, trigger guard protection. So you would never have an accidental discharge uh, while withdrawing it. The worst case would be you'd, with, you'd withdraw it and the thing would still be on the, on the pistol, which would be maybe not ideal. All right, guys, that's it. Just an update. I'll have another video coming for you in a minute because I actually, um, sorry, I came out of camera. I'll have another video coming for you uh, probably right after this one. I picked up a different style holster uh, to also use, um, and uh, I'll, do a, I'll do a video on that in just a little bit. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Be safe out there.